what we're looking at here is three different versions, right? So I can delete this old one here. So I have this, and these are all using the same two textures to make these three materials. And we could slip them around and do whatever we want with them and, and dance. But then we need to export it. But let's talk about textures real quick. Let's talk about textures inside of Max. Um, if you haven't known this before because you didn't work in HDRP or in Unreal, um, if we open up a texture in Max or in Photoshop, let's called mask map. So first off, the reason I don't use pings when I'm teaching and sometimes not at all is because the alpha channel is embedded into the layers, the RGB layers. If you come over to the channels inside of the ping that has transparency, there is no alpha channel. But if you look at this TGA, it has an alpha channel right here. Now it's the same color, but this could be I said no, I said delete. Okay, fill it with whatever. This is the alpha channel. It doesn't matter what's in here. So it's a separate channel. It's basically the transparency channel. But with alphas inside of a ping, PNG, you can't just see it by default. So the first thing I do whenever I open a ping and I want to see the alpha channel is I um, make it visible. And the reason you want to see the alpha channel in this is because in Unity, we don't use, uh, we use our roughness, metal, AO, and detail maps are all separate color channels. So like RGB and then alpha. In Unreal, it's just um, AO and metal and roughness. It's only three channels, but in um, Unity, it uses the alpha too. So what you have to do real quick is come in here and say layer mask and say from transparency and come outside of here and you'll see there's your layer mask. And if I look at it by pushing alt and clicking on that layer, that's the alpha. Okay, so I say control. This is the base stone here. And I say control um, A and I can say control C and then I can come out of that and control B and it will make a new layer for me. So here's my alpha. Um, so then I want to make sure that I delete this. So I'm going to say delete layer mask and now I get this. And if we come back into here, we'll see it's a little bit different. Um, actually, let me check that again. Yeah, no, I'm going to delete it. It's just so green. Um, but then what we're looking at here, uh, let me do this delete. No, my brain is working today, I promise. Delete, layer mask, there we go. So what we're looking in here, this is the red channel, which is the um, roughness channel. And um, there's no, well actually that's backwards. Hold on one second. Sorry, I'm working in the two programs and backwards and forwards. Sometimes I forget if, it's using alpha, I mean if it's using, so if we roll over it inside of Mac, uh, Unity, you can roll over this right here and it'll tell you, uh, R is metallic, yeah, that's right, it's backwards. Okay, my brain was going there. So this is the metallic channel, there's absolutely no metallic. This is the AO, there's really no AO, so we don't get any shadows in. This is the def um, this is the detail channel, which we use for other things. Don't worry about that right now, we don't, we're not gonna use it. But we're still missing the alpha channel, which is where our roughness goes. So if we say plus, and then we come back out to our original one here, control A, control C, and then we can even delete it if you want. And then come back into here and go to our alpha and we paste it. We now have our alpha channel. So this is R, which is metal, G is AO, Blue is um, the detail, and then alpha inside of uh, Unity is our roughness map. So you have to understand that we learned a while ago that we were sending RGB maps into uh, engines that were only using black and white. So if we didn't do something to smooth this out, we were going to have you know nothing but uh, wasted layers, right? We only need the black and white. We can get enough color. We can get enough black and white from the RG and B and the alpha for that matter. So we just combined all our maps into one texture, which is in this case called the mask map in uh, Unity. In, in Unreal, it's called the ORM map. So if I come back out, I think it's move three and I go to textures 
Yeah, if I put this in here, I'll just open that one. This is the ORM map for uh, Unreal's uh, uh, metal AO and roughness, and it goes. This is your uh, AO, red is your AO, green is your uh, um, roughness, and black is your, or blue is your metal. So my point being is that there's two different naming conventions and you may work for another engine that does the same thing and uses different things. Nobody ever gets along or can work together, so we deal with this this way. I understand why Unreal did it that way because if you don't use a detail map very often and it can be actually pretty small, it doesn't have to be the scale, you have one less channel that has to be loaded in. So it's fine, whichever way they, they work their engine, that's fine. So that said, um, what we do need, and one another thing that happens inside of Unity, I'm pretty sure in Unreal 2, is that a lot of times our base color textures have an alpha map to them that is either like turned on or used for other things. So it's like an opacity map that's never on until you tell it to use that as the opacity map. So for what I did is I took that um, base pattern texture, which was right... I think from last week, I just took the base pattern pin, and then I just made an alpha channel from it. So I said Control A, Control C, and then added an alpha channel to it, Control V, and now I have an alpha channel for it. So this, again, doesn't matter what color this is, this is just the, the texture I used because this is the one we pulled out, and I needed an alpha for it. So if we look at this TGA version, that's what we're looking at. You can't have a pattern. You can't have a PNG with a separate alpha channel. For this to work as an alpha channel, I have to select all the black and delete it. And then I get an alpha. So for example, if I wanted this to be a ping, I wouldn't have an alpha channel. I'd come up here, go W, make sure it's not contiguous so it doesn't just stick to one area. Deselect everything and click like this. And then turn off the background so there's no background layer and delete. And say deselect. And now if I export it, I'd have uh, a ping with an alpha because the alpha is, is now worked on. Now the other thing, I, there's a little trick too that you can see I have these little highlight edges too. You can come into layer, I haven't tried it with this one so we'll see if it works. And you come to layer and go to, where is it? My brain is here, okay there it is. Differentiate and say like two pixels maybe. And it'll do that, so probably more for that one. So I'd say layer. Add in Defringe, and it'll get rid of that edge, or it should. Let's try five, it's a big image, it's part of the problem. Yeah, it's a big image, but you can do that, or you can just select the alpha area in here in this case, and then just grow it, or you can invert selection, Control shift i and just turn everything to white if you want, just so it doesn't have that little black ring around the outside of it whatever you need to do. But that's how an alpha would look in um, that from a ping. I just don't like pings at first because I like to at least have these. I don't mind compressing them down. Um, another thing you're going to hear is people are like, well, don't use targets. They're so big and they're so large. The big problem, the size of the target doesn't matter when the game gets compressed. Everything gets compressed to a DXT. It doesn't matter if it's a Targa, a Ping, or whatever, it gets recompressed at the time the game is published and put together. So the only large problem is for the server in memory. It doesn't really make a difference for the game. Um, it may be when you're playing it's a little bit bigger. Um, and if you need to, you can always come back and make it a Ping really quick by just taking the Alpha and cutting it out. Um, but in general, if you use something with an Alpha that's separate, at least you can see what you're working with right off the bat. And especially with those uh, layer things like mask maps. It's kind of hard to see what's going on with other greens and reds. Barely transparent.